my dear students myself i am dr uma guru today i am here to discuss about uh, deep learning course unit number 3 which is lstm rnn we are also going to see how we can use deep learning through lstm rnn model using python programming to solve a real life application do you know students how uh, google auto complete feature works how the google auto complete feature predicts the rest of the words the user is typing so across the internet there is a huge collection of large volumes of most frequently occurring consecutive words which are there so it is fed to a recurrent neural network as you can see it is fed to a recurrent neural network which is a collection of uh, uh, several deep uh, neural networks we are going to see what it is and it analyzes the data by finding the sequence of words which are occurring frequently and builds a model to predict the next word in the sentence so suppose if i am typing on a google what is the best food to eat in las of course google's auto search engine it is going to suggest us vegas so how it auto completes this search mechanism using this rnn model rnn neural net recurrent neural network that we are going to see so what is new recurrent uh, neural network neural networks used in deep learning consist of different layers which are connected to each other so these layers which are connected to each other so you can see there are number of hidden layers and then there is a output layer so it is connected to each other and it works on the structure and functions of a human brain so actually we uh, we are trying to uh, incorporate or mimic the behavior of human brains into recurrent neural network we are trying to make these neural networks intelligent enough to understand the things based on the data so more we feed it with the data more and more intelligent it is going to become so it learns from huge volumes of the data information which is available on the net and it uses this complex machine learning algorithms to train a neural network so as you can see in the example there are the image pixels so image pixels we are feeding it with the let's say 3000 uh, huge uh, volumes of the data set with the different breeds of dogs you can see and uh, we are going to instruct this neural network to classify whether it is going to be a german shepherd dog or labrador dog so how it is going to identify it how it is going to train itself to understand that this is a particular labrador dog or german shepherd dog so of course based on the features so what is a neural network neural networks used in deep learning consist of the different layers which are connected to each other work on uh, the structure and functions of a human brain so we are trying to mimic the human brain uh, functionality into the neural network it learns from the huge volumes of data it uses the complex algorithms to train the neural network so uh, earlier days there used to be a feed forward neural network so this recurrent neural network has been evolved from feed forward neural network as the name suggests feed forward so we are just feeding the data it is forwarding it to the different layer through the different layers so there is a input layer there are num n number of hidden layers and then there are output layers so this is feed forward neural network so in feed forward neural network information Uh, flows only in the forward direction from the input nodes through the hidden layers and to the output nodes so as the name suggests it just feed keeps feed forwarding the data information there are no cycles or loops into the network so here what are the pitfalls of feed forward neural network first of all decisions are based on the current input no memory about the past and no future scope so in order to overcome these hurdles of the feed forward neural network we are going ahead with the recurrent neural network so why recurrent neural network what are the uh, why we moved to the recurrent neural network so the as you can see the problems with the feed forward neural network drawbacks are handled very in a effective manner in recurrent neural network you can see that feed forward neural network cannot handle the sequential data it considers only the current input 
and cannot memorize the previous inputs. So, in order to overcome these drawbacks, we are moving ahead with the recurrent neural network. So, what is the solution to this? So, this is a recurrent neural network. As you can see that there is a feedback mechanism. There is a feedback mechanism. Uh, so, whatever input or whatever output the previous hidden layer is producing that is acting as an input in the next hidden layer. As you can see that whatever output that the previous hidden layer is producing, it is acting as an input to the next uh, hidden layer. So, this way it is trying to make it uh, to make collect more and more data and whatever um, uh, like it is memorizing the previous data and it it is working on that. So, that is why as the name suggests recurrent, recurrent means recursive or feedback looping mechanism uh, we are working on that and uh, so uh, that is why the there was a need to uh, go ahead with the recurrent neural network. So, recurrent neural network works on the principle of the saving the output of the previous layer. So, it saves the output of the previous layer which was not the case with the feed forward neural network and feeding this back to the input in order to predict the output of the layer. So, here this feedback mechanism, wow, what was the need to incorporate this feedback mechanism so that whatever output we were getting, why? And what is the predicted outcome? outcome that is y hat. The difference between it, if it is more, so that means the error is more. So, in order to reduce that error, we have got the feedback looping mechanism into the hidden layer and which has been incorporate, incorporated in recurrent neural network. So, in the next session, we will see how to implement this recurrent neural network using Python based on some real life application. Thank you students.